Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. Welcome. So today we're filming a very exciting video. I'm going to be doing a shot my stash video for the first time on my channel. I've just been seeing a lot of the people that I follow do them and I really enjoy them. I'm also going to be showing you guys what I keep in like my everyday vanity, my everyday makeup, my like go to's. And yeah, I had so much fun at filming this video for you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so this is what my desk is looking like right at this moment. As you guys can see in this corner over here, I have some newer products that I wanna kinda add to the drawers. And then up here is kind of like what I use on a daily basis. And I'll go ahead and go through everything. So right here I have some skincare I've been using every day from Glow Recipe. This is their new Watermelon Glow Toner and also their Pink Juice Moisturizer. I just like the way these wear under makeup, so I like to keep them here in case like I wanna just hurry up and do my skincare. And then apply makeup then i just have some brushes right here i have them in like flower pots that's what i use to like hold my brushes and then this is just part of the new stuff that we'll go through in a minute right here i like to keep like everyday tools and mainly like brow products as you guys can see and i also have a little bit of brushes in here that are hard to find with all the other brushes so i like to keep them separate because i use them like almost every day and then right here i have my blinged brushes as you guys could see i still haven't used them but i have them up here so i can know to use them for like a trying new makeup or something and then here's my like everyday eye brushes i don't use like all of them at once <laughs> um but i just like rotate through all of them and then here we have some face brushes and also my fan and then right Right here I have some more everyday products so this is my Lancome no time no shine powder this is amazing under the eyes and as you guys can see I'm running out so I'm just trying to finish it and it also doesn't fit in these drawers so I just keep it on top and then this one is the moonshine miracle cream from Juno and Co I've been loving this as a primer so I also keep it up here because it doesn't fit inside the drawer and then over here we have some setting sprays that I'm trying to finish up so we have Mac fix plus there's only a tiny bit in there and then glow recipe and then also the morphe continuous mist so i'll probably put that other one that we saw over there like in my backup drawer and then this right here is my brush cleaner and then we have alcohol and then i have my little sponge holders right here for my sponges i use every day and this right here is a brush cleaner if i could open it hold on it's hard with one hand this is what it looks like right here it just cleans your brushes really fast so you don't have to like actually wash them if you like want to change a color and it's only a dollar at dollar tree so i really love these i showed you guys on instagram stories that i bought like five at a time and then i have this crate up here and this i use to go ahead and just like pick products from my makeup collection so as you guys can see it's over there on that bookshelf and i'll just take this crate and fill it up with what i want to use that day and then right here we also have some newer products that i want to like put in my drawers and so yeah that's everything on top and now we're just going to go ahead and go through these newer products and see what I want to put in here. So I put all the ones we're putting back in like my makeup collection in this crate right here. And now we're gonna go through this Laura Mercier stuff and see what I wanna keep up here. This is basically my everyday makeup. I have some spread throughout these other drawers, but it's mainly all in here. So this one is pretty much gonna stay the same. I threw in those scissors and also the lash glue, which is on the bottom. I'll go ahead and go through everything, I guess. So we have eye drops. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter, my favorite brow gel at the moment. And um, we also have this from Benefit, the Gimme Brow. I have shade four and I just use this for like an everyday look, something natural. We have the Anastasia eye primer i use this for every cut crease i do so i love this stuff always have to have it handy this is the mac extended play this is my favorite mascara for the lower lashes i don't wear lower lash mascara all the time but when i do i use that one 
I also have the new Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara in here because I wanted to try it out. So I'm going to keep that in here. I have this mini Anastasia Mascara. It's their newest release. I'm not the biggest fan and a lot of people liked it. I'm not sure why I don't like it. Maybe it's because it's like smaller. I don't know, but I'm going to take that out of here. And then I have my favorite mascara of all time in here from Thrive. This stuff is amazing, but it's so hard to find. Also keeping that in here. And then um, we have a small little pencil black eyeliner that I use on an everyday basis. So I'm just going to keep all this stuff in here. It's kind of like daily use products oh i actually almost forgot i want to add the carity mascara to the drawer so i'm gonna have to make this fit somehow maybe we'll move here i'll just take that out for now until we like organize everything so it could fit because if you have it too full like the drawer won't close so that's that little cubby. Now for the next little cubby, I use this stuff all the time as well. So I'm probably going to keep everything in here. We have the Anastasia Dip Brow. Love this stuff. Holy grail. Then we have the newest Patrick Ta Brow product. Um, it's their Brow Wax. Um, I really like it. It's really good for natural, but it's even more natural than like my Gimme Brow, which is already pretty natural. So I don't know. I have like a love-hate with it. Oh my gosh, did you guys see me? Don't look at me. I look so bad right now. Um, so I'm going to take that out so I can show you the rest. But we have some Patrick Ta lip products in here as well. These are my favorite from him. They're the lip creams and they're all like in these really beautiful nude shades. So every time I do like a dramatic look, I go for these. So I'm going to keep them in here. Then we have this KKW lip gloss in the shade rose gold it's just a really pretty one to pop on top of anything and these are my two favorite bullet lipsticks of all time right now so we have the buxom full force lip plumping lipstick in the shade goddess oh my gosh if you guys have not swatched this you definitely need to and then i have a newer one in here this is the max selena collection and it's a really beautiful nudie pink let me show you look at that it's so pretty and it's very moisturizing as well so i'm gonna keep both of these lipsticks in here in this bigger cubby right here we have some more lip products we have this lip gloss stick from Marc Jacobs. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out so we could put more lip products in here. This Fenty one, I feel like I just had it in here because it looked cute and everything's clear on the top of my desk. So I want it to look cute, but I need to take it out because I don't even use it. So taking that one out, we have a Fenty lip gloss in the color Fussy. This I do use like pretty often, so I'll keep that in here. I actually have a random eyeshadow in here from Touch and Soul. This is the shade Peach, and it's their sparkling foiled pigment. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty for like an everyday natural look. So I'll just throw this on the lid and do like a bronzer in the crease. So I like having this like on hand for when I would like just want to get ready really quickly. So I'll keep this in here, but for now I'm going to put it up here because I don't know where to put it yet. And I like put this stuff in the crate so we can take it back and then we have some morphe lip products in here as well this is the liquid lipstick in the shade virgin been loving this so keeping this in here and then this gloss is also super beautiful it's in the shade boho another nude so keeping those two uh, this is just one of my favorites that i like to throw on when i'm doing a more cool tone look so this is a buxom liquid lipstick but it has a shiny finish so it doesn't dry matte it's in the color taupe it off keeping that in here we had this nars lip gloss but I don't really use it, so I'm going to make room for other things and just put this back in my collection. It is really pretty. I just wasn't using it. And then the Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the color Sugar Sugar is just a cult classic. It's pretty old. It's probably expired, but I love it so much, so I'm keeping that in here. And now I'm just going to add the new products to the drawer so we have the new alamar products the birthday collection so pretty i'm gonna put the lip liner on this side because i have all my lip liners here but we'll go through that in a minute and then also the laura mercier lip liner i'm gonna put in here um i thought i had other lip products to put in here did i not oh yeah the kaleidos lip gloss oh, so pretty i'm gonna pop that in there as well in this little cubby right here we have some more everyday products we have a mac pencil sharpener Oh my gosh, guys, I've been loving this from Glow Recipe. It's their lip pop. It has like a scrub in it, but they kind of melt and turn into a balm over time. I like it because I could wear this with a no makeup makeup look and it looks super natural. I find that if you wear like a nude lipstick with it, it looks very makeup-y. Um, like I said, if you're just not wearing a lot of makeup, and this kind of just brings back the natural like rosiness of your lips so i've been using that a lot so i'm keeping that in here i have this bobby brown and vitamin rich face base is that what it's called yeah 
Um, I was using this as a primer because I wanted to try it out, but I haven't really gravitated it towards it lately. So I'm going to take this out and put it back in my collection. Ooh, more cat hair. Yay. Um, but actually I think that's lash glue. No, is it my hair? I don't know. Something's stuck in there, but this is that lash rack that Lulu Lashes sent me and I'm keeping that in here because I'm for sure going to use it. Oh my gosh, it is my hair. Okay. I got it out. We have the Scopari Starry Eye Balm. This is really good if you need to hydrate under your eyes before concealer. So I'm going to keep that in here as well. And we have a Tarte Chrome Paint in the shade Top Yacht. This is my favorite eyeshadow of all time. It's a beautiful highlight. It's so gorgeous for the inner corner. So I like to have this on hand in case like the eyeshadow palette I'm using that day doesn't have an inner corner highlight because I feel like that's something I cannot go without. I'm actually gonna put that Touch and Soul eyeshadow right next to it. I feel like that would be a good spot if it fits. And we'll just put the lash rack on top like that. Okay, good. And then I could even put these eye drops in here. Oh, maybe not. Where should I put the eye drops, guys? Maybe right there? Yeah, that's good. Okay, next little section is for primers, foundation, and concealer. So Tarte Shape Tape, definitely keeping these in here. And then we have the Hourglass Foundation in here. Oh my gosh, I've been loving this. I fell back in love with it. Sorry if I'm making a lot of noise. I have the color Buff and it's like the perfect shade. Or actually, I lied. <laughs> I have the color Shell and this is the perfect shade for me. I had Buff before, but it was too yellow. This is neutral and it's just perfect for my skin tone. So I've been wearing that almost every single day. So that's staying in here. You guys know I use my Multi Sculpting Concealer as a corrector. So I use it every single day. That's gonna stay in here. We have the Tatcha Primer in here. Should I leave this in here? I haven't been using it because I've been using my Juno & Co so much, but I might as well, like there's room for it. So I'm gonna keep it in here in case I need like a pore filling primer. Um, I have the Believe Beauty Foundation in here ever since me and Paige collabed, but it is a little dark, so I haven't really been using it. So I think I might take this out and put it back in my collection for now. And then we also have this Pat McGrath concealer in here. As you guys could see, I haven't really been using it. I need to. That's why I put it in here because it was very expensive, but I feel like it kind of burns my skin. I don't know if it's just like an ingredient in it or what, but it kind of burns lately. So that's pretty weird, but I'm going to keep that in there. And then I also had the Hourglass Concealer in here as well, which I don't use that often either, which is also why it's in here because I just need to use it. It was very expensive. I just feel like the color is kind of off for me. I have the color cream and it's a little bit too pinky. So I like to mix it with the Too Faced one, um, but it's a really pretty like full coverage concealer. I just don't like the color, but I'm gonna keep that in here as well. And since we took that foundation out, I'm gonna throw this in, which is my sunscreen. Hopefully it fits. Dang, why does nothing fit? There we go. Okay, actually let's go through these. They're probably gonna stay the same. So I have a lot of lip liners in here. These are all my favorite. Just ignore all this dirt right here. It looks so gross, but it's just eyeshadow. All my eyeshadow gets trapped under this glass and I need Christian to help me like lift it so I could clean it. So we are gonna do that today. Just not right now because I have all this stuff on top. I'm actually gonna put this lip liner back. It's from Morphe. It's like this kind of foiled pink shade. It looks pretty bad to be honest. So I'm gonna put that in my collection. I might give that away actually. But these other lip liners are my favorite. So we have NYX Peekaboo Neutral, which is a beautiful nude. These are all nudes guys. You know, that's mainly what I wear. We have MAC Strip Down, MAC Oak, the new Laura Mercier one I showed you guys. Kylie Cosmetics, what is this one called? It doesn't have a name. Oh yeah, it does, Candy K. And then this KKW one, oh my gosh, this one's so beautiful. The only thing I don't like about it is that they pop out of the, look. Yeah, they pop out of the thing. It looks so ugly and cheap, but this is the color 0 0.5. It's so beautiful. And then the new Alamar birthday one is in here. And so I'm keeping all those lip liners in here, except for that Morphe one. Also in this drawer, we have this Milk Makeup Cream Bronze Stick. This is my favorite cream bronzer of all time. We also have some other creams in here. We have Fenty Beauty Cream Blushes. I have this MAC blush that I was using for the longest time. Like I just kept gravitating towards it. And so now I'm kind of tired of it. So I'm going to take this out and put it back in my collection. And, um, oh, I also have the Charlotte Tilbury ones in here, which I haven't really used, to be honest. So I need to keep them in here so I could use them. They're super pretty. 
I just, a lot of the time I forget to use like cream products. I also have this in here because I wanted to try it out, but I honestly don't think I'm gonna use it. I even have another one right here because I just put them in here so I could use them, but I'm not going to, so I'm just gonna leave them out. I'm trying to like find a way to organize like this stuff better right here. I'm just gonna kind of see if I could organize it a little better. These are a little dirty, so. Oh, I forgot to put my Tarte concealers back in there anyways. And if you're wondering where I got these containers from, they're from the container store. I've just had them over the years. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna keep both of these in here, like I said. Maybe I'll put them on top of this right here, and then we'll do this sideways. Yeah, that's better. Then we'll actually put the lip products all together. So lip liners and lip sticks, lip glosses all right here since there's more room in this drawer and then we'll keep it like that and so now we have actually a little bit extra room which i could put these in here these are the kaja stamps i have the bronzer and toasty and then also the blush and saucy i really need to get more use out of these so i'm gonna pop these in here as well actually i should probably clean these too let me grab my alcohol Everything just gets so dirty when you have like foundation hands. And I put a little bit of peppermint in my alcohol so it smells really good. Oh no! Oh my gosh, okay, so it's not gonna close with the Kaja products right there. So I'm gonna have to move them back. Dang it, I kinda wanted to have all my creams together, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. Moving on to this section right here, there's no containers, obviously it's just like in there, you know? Um, so we have a Fenty Beauty Powder. I've really been loving this, but I felt like I got a lot of use out of it. So I need to like rotate it and I want to put my Laura Mercier powder back in the drawer. So I'm going to pop that right there where the Fenty was. And then this is my MAC Studio Fix Powder. It's a powder foundation. I use it every single day. I have the color NC25, so that will for sure be staying in here. Makeup wipes will for sure stay in here. And this is the newest Buxom bronzer, and I feel like I've been using it a lot, but I still want to keep using it, so I'm going to keep that in here. I have my Oprah highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter of all time that's pressed. Um, it's the All of the Lights highlighter, so it's a lot of their lighter highlighters mixed all together. That's what it looks like. I have this used one, and then I also have a backup. Um, should I keep it up here? Because I do use it a lot, and I really need to use other highlighters. I'll keep it in here just in case I need it. Um, so we're gonna keep those two in here too. I think I'm gonna take this out though. This is the NARS um, Translucent Crystal Powder. I like this, but I always forget to use it. I don't like the smell though. It smells like Doritos, it's really weird. But it's nice and blurring, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out and maybe just grab it later. Um, we have another pressed highlighter in here. This one's from Lunar Beauty. It's in the shade Venus. This one is a little bit too deep for me right now, but once I start like going swimming and stuff, hopefully when I get it a little bit tanner, I could wear this, but for now I'm gonna take it out of the drawer. And then I also have two loose highlighters in here. These are my favorite loose highlighters of all time. They're from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I have the shade Balm and Volt. I'm gonna keep those in here. I use them when I do really dramatic looks because I want like a super blinding highlight. Okay, so that's everything we're keeping in here. Now it's time to like add a little bit of products that I wanted to try out. So I'm gonna put these Kaleido blushes in here. Just stack them on top of each other. And then we'll go ahead and throw in those highlighters. I wanted to try by them as well. And we'll put that in the back. Hopefully it fits here. Let me move this out of the way first. Oh no, looks like only one could fit. Hmm. Hmm, how shall I do this? Ooh, maybe in this drawer. Okay, so I'm gonna put the box brushes in this one. Like that, and we'll just do Charlotte Tilbury right on the side. Yeah, that works perfect. And then we'll do the two highlighters right there. Okay, and we're pretty much done with this drawer. Everything fit pretty nicely. Oh, I almost forgot about this. I use this pretty often as well. It's from the brand Mamad. Sorry, I keep putting it out of frame um, because I can't see what I'm doing. But it's the lip sleeping mask, but I just use it as like a regular lip balm. It kind of reminds me of the Laneige sleeping mask. So I'm gonna pop this back in here because I like using it pretty often. And that is it for that drawer, all finished. Okay, so we got the crate filled up. This is everything I'm putting back. We did pretty good. And so I'm just gonna take this 
over here to my makeup collection. As you guys know, it's over here if you've seen my makeup collection video. If not, this is what it looks like right here. I have these clear containers from the container store. And then on this side right here, I have the basic Ikea drawers. And it looks empty up here because I need to put the blinged brushes back over there. I just had them over here to kind of like remind me to use them, but I think I'm gonna put them back just to not drive me crazy because I know something's missing over there. Um, but I'll definitely use these in a future video for sure. But they look super cute on display. Let's go ahead and put this stuff up. Please ignore what I'm wearing. I look like crap right now, but what are you gonna do? You guys, oh my gosh, I have to show you this drawer. It's getting crazy. Okay, so this is my backup drawer. So it has all new products that I don't wanna open yet or products that are just backups. So I already have one open, but look how crazy this is getting. It's insane. I really need to go through this drawer and like pick some stuff out, but for now, that's what it's looking like. But anyways, I went ahead and put everything up and I even put some more goodies in here that I just wanna use this month. And so we're gonna take this to my vanity. Alrighty, so now we're gonna move on to the second drawer, which is right here. And this one houses um, eyeshadow palettes and also eyelashes, which I don't like that they're mixed together. So I think what I'm gonna do is take all the eyeshadow palettes out of here and make it strictly just lashes. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm done with the lashes. I'm getting rid of these two pairs right here because they're really grimy and gross. Um, but this is what it looks like right here. I had a very difficult time like getting it even because it bothers me when it's not even. So I just ended up adding this fan to like kind of even things out. And I used the other lash case because I had some random ones that needed a home. But yeah, it looks so pretty. I really like it, nice and clean. And so now we're gonna work on palettes. So these are all the extra ones that were in the middle drawer that I need to go through. And then I obviously have more in this drawer. It's a mix between face and eyes. So it's all kinds of different palettes, but I don't wanna have a lot over here just because I feel like I don't use them even though they're right here because they're all like stacked on top of each other. So we're just gonna put like my most used or ones that I need to try out. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through all these and see what I wanna keep over here. Okay, so this is the stack of palettes that I'm gonna be putting back into my collection. Obviously, it's a lot because we got rid of one eyeshadow palette drawer, um, but this is the stack that we're gonna be keeping in this drawer. Most of it is like new palettes that I really wanna use, and the other ones are kind of just like holy grails that I always gravitate towards. So I'm just gonna pop these babies back in here. Hopefully they all fit nice and snug. Okay, so here's what all the palettes look like. They fit in there really nicely. The only thing that bothers me is this is kind of lifted on the side, but what are you gonna do? It's a big palette. Um, so we have all those nice and settled. Alrighty, so now to put all these babies back in their spots. So this one is the only face one, so I'm gonna put this right here in the face palette drawer. The rest are all eyeshadow palettes, so I have all my small eyeshadow palettes mainly right here in this one, and I'm pretty sure they could fit in there, but if not, it's gonna go with the rest of like the big palettes, which I've been starting a new drawer because I'm running out of space right here. 
so it only has a couple palettes in there right now and it has this foundation it's actually too dark and yellow for me so i'm not gonna use it i'm just keeping it in here for my sister to see if she likes it oh my gosh there's like hair in there i'm so sorry i need to clean that um that's my special effects drawer ofra where's my other eyeshadow palettes i think that's all i have for now i have like a giveaway drawer down here too um so yeah i'm just gonna put these babies up Alrighty, so now we have another full drawer of eyeshadow palettes because it took up this whole drawer. I just keep getting more and more eyeshadow palettes, don't I? And the Too Faced ones didn't even fit in there, so... Oh, that's skincare and tools and stuff. It's just random. I put them in here, so I have all my, like, gingerbread palettes. I think I have three. Yeah, we're... They're all Too Faced, not gingerbread, but you know what I mean. So the new stuff I ended up bringing over here was this Wet n Wild Coconut Primer Water. I remember I used to love using primer water and I haven't used it in forever. So I wanted to give that a go. And also what I like to pair with that is the e.l.f poreless putty primer because this is amazing for pores and I haven't used this in a while either so I think I'm gonna find some where to put those and then for foundation since I only had my hourglass foundation stick over here I wanted to have like another option so since it's summer I brought this it has SPF 50 it's the CC cream from it cosmetics I really really like the coverage on it and the finish um, I do have to powder with it because it does have more of like a dewy finish but it's perfect for summer so let's see if we could fit these over here so yeah I think if I just push these containers upwards like that I have a little bit of space right here and I could pop these. I actually mix these two colors. That's why I brought two. I have the shade Fair and Medium. I usually wear Light, which is right in the middle. Um, but I only have these two shades. So we're going to put that there. And then for the Poreless Putty Primer, where should I put you? Right here. Oh, yeah. Fits perfect right there. And then this. I actually probably won't put in here because it's a spray and I don't want it to spill. So voila. We'll put her right there. Now all I need to do is clean this. I'm gonna get Christian to lift this glass so we can clean it. Alrighty, so we are all finished. This is my desk. She's nice and clean. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna be everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I can know to keep doing these videos if you do like them. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, Brittany Raquel, go ahead and subscribe before you leave. I post every week for you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Where's my makeup wipe?